there is a river in Canada that's powering the country. The Peace River is 1,923 kilometers long and extends from the Rocky Mountains of northern British Columbia to the Slave River in northern Alberta. It is home for three mega dams, the WAC Bennett Dam, the Peace Canyon Dam, and the recently completed Site C Dam. Together, these dams cost approximately $18 billion in today's money, and combined they generate about 21,901 gigawatt hours of electricity annually. Together, the three mega dams have transformed the Peace River into a critical source of renewable energy for Canada. Let's take a closer look at this trio, starting with the newest addition, Site C. This dam has become a symbol of modern hydroelectric ambition and a lightning rod for debates about cost, environmental impacts, and indigenous rights. The Site C Dam is the third dam on this river and is also Canada's most expensive dam, with costs jumping from an initial $4.8 billion to over $12 billion US dollars. Located approximately 80 kilometers downstream from the WAC Bennett Dam and about 7 kilometers southwest of Fort St. John, it's an earth-filled dam stretching 1,050 meters across the Peace River and standing 60 meters tall. It's being built to help meet the growing electricity needs of British Columbia, a province where demand is expected to rise by up to 40 percent in the next two decades. The dam will create an 83-kilometer-long reservoir that will flood over 10,000 hectares of land, including forests, farms, and culturally significant areas. The generating station will house six turbine units with a combined installed capacity of 1,100 megawatts. Once operational, the dam is expected to produce 5,100 gigawatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power approximately 450,000 homes and increase British Columbia's electricity supply by 8%. The project has reached a major milestone, with the first of six generating units becoming operational in late October 2024. This unit alone is producing over 180 megawatts of power. The reservoir filling process, completed safely over 11 weeks, raised the water level at the dam site by about 43 meters, and the reservoir is now more than 90% full. Testing and commissioning of the second generating unit is underway and the project remains on schedule to have all six units operational by fall 2025. Building Site C hasn't been without difficulties. One of the biggest challenges was the unstable shale rock beneath the dam site, which required innovative engineering solutions like an L-shaped design and a concrete buttress to ensure stability. The environmental and social impacts have also been significant. Flooding for the reservoir destroyed habitats for at least 63 species and displaced large areas of farmland. Indigenous communities under Treaty 8, whose rights to hunt, fish and trap are constitutionally protected, were among the most vocal opponents of the project. Despite the costs and controversies, Site C offers critical benefits. It will provide clean, renewable energy for over a century and is designed to produce electricity on demand, making it more reliable than other renewable sources like wind and solar. By reusing water from the two dams upstream, Site C also generates a significant amount of power with a relatively small reservoir footprint. But Site C's story wouldn't be possible without the groundwork laid by the dams that came before it. Decades earlier, the WAC Bennett Dam transformed the Peace River into a powerhouse of energy and set the stage for hydroelectric development in British Columbia. The WAC Bennett Dam is located approximately 21 kilometers west of Hudson's Hope, near the head of the Peace Canyon. It sits relatively close to where the Peace River begins, following the confluence of the Finlay and Parsnip Rivers in the Canadian Rockies. As the first major dam on the Peace River system, it plays a key role in regulating the river's flow for downstream facilities. Completed in 1968 at a cost of approximately $3.22 billion in today's money, $750 million at the time. It was the first dam built and was named after Premier W.A.C. Bennett and his colleague Ray Williston, who pushed for the project. The dam became a symbol of progress for the province. Standing 186 meters tall and stretching two kilometers in length, 
The WAC Bennett Dam was the largest earth-filled dam in the world when it was built. Its construction created Williston Lake, the largest reservoir in British Columbia, and the third largest artificial lake in North America. To put it into perspective, the lake spans 250 kilometers north-south and 150 kilometers east-west, flooding over 350,000 acres of forest and farmland. The dam houses the Gordon M. Shrum Generating Station, which can produce more than 13,000 gigawatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power millions of homes. At its peak, the WAC Bennett Dam supplied about 30% of British Columbia's electricity, and even today it remains a critical part of BC Hydro's energy system. The dam itself was an amazing engineering feat. Built in the Peace Canyon, where the water dropped 215 feet over 20 miles, making the perfect spot for a dam. During construction, workers used a 4.8 km long conveyor belt, the longest in the world at the time, to move 12,000 tonnes of material every hour. The dam's earth-fill design was chosen for its cost-effectiveness and suitability for the area's unstable ground, setting a standard for similar projects worldwide. To put the WAC Bennett Dam into perspective, let's compare it to the Oroville Dam in California, the tallest dam in the United States. Oroville stands at 235 metres tall and stretches 2,109 metres at its crest. The WAC Bennett Dam, while shorter at 186 metres, is nearly as long at 2,068 metres and features an 800 metre wide base. While the dam brought economic growth and energy security to the region, its environmental and social impacts were profound. The flooding of the Peace River Valley destroyed habitats, altered the river's natural cycles, and displaced local communities, including the Tseke Dene First Nation. In 1961, many families were relocated and some homes were burned to make way for Williston Lake. To address some of these impacts, BC Hydro launched the Peace Williston Fish and Wildlife Compensation Program in 1988. While the WAC Bennett Dam laid the foundation for hydroelectric development on the Peace River, it wasn't the end of the story. Located 6 kilometres southwest of Hudson's Hope and just 23 kilometres downstream from the WAC Bennett Dam, the Peace Canyon Dam was strategically placed to maximise efficiency. By reusing water released from the WAC Bennett Dam, it operates as a run-of-river project, creating energy with minimal additional environmental impact. Created in 1980 at a cost of $625 million, approximately $2.513 billion US dollars today, the dam is a concrete structure standing 50 meters tall and stretching across the Peace River to create Dinosaur Lake, a 21-kilometer-long reservoir. It has this name likely due to dinosaur footprints found in the area. The reservoir has a capacity of 216 million cubic metres, adding to the system's overall water storage. Equipped with four large generating units, the Peace Canyon Dam has a total generating capacity of 700 megawatts. It produces over 3,500 gigawatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power hundreds of thousands of homes. The construction of the Peace Canyon Dam, which began in the late 1970s, wasn't without its difficulties. Workers faced steep terrain and the challenges of managing the Peace River's flow during the build. Despite these obstacles, the project was completed in just three years. Like its predecessor, the Peace Canyon Dam has impacted the surrounding environment. The creation of Dinosaur Lake altered habitats and ecosystems, and the valley it occupies is home to culturally significant sites and important farmland. These challenges echo the broader themes seen with the WAC Bennett and Site C dams, balancing energy production with environmental preservation and cultural respect. The Peace River's three megadams, Site C, the WAC Bennett Dam and the Peace Canyon Dam, tell a story of engineering ambition, renewable energy innovation, and the complex trade-offs of large-scale infrastructure. Together, they generate enough electricity to power millions of homes, making the river a lifeline for Canada's energy grid. 
Yet these projects also serve as reminders of the environmental, social, and cultural costs that come with harnessing such immense power. But the Peace River isn't the only waterway transformed by mega dams. What other rivers stand out for their multiple mega dams, and how do they shape the regions around them? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed exploring this incredible mega build story with us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.